Hello, it's Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees, and it is Monday, February 14th, 2022, and it's about 2.30, I think, p.m. in the afternoon. The temperature right now is 8 degrees Fahrenheit. I am going to peek inside this hive. This hive, I'm pretty sure, is dead. We haven't seen any activity from it since about December 10th, 2022. We had a few cold nights, like in the negative degrees. And then uh, when I came on here on Monday morning, just to do a last um, bee entrance clearing, there was frost at the hole. And I pretty much knew then that it had probably died. So it's a day with no wind. Thought I would maybe peek in and see if I have to remove any dead bees, if there's moisture issues. Ratchet straps still work in the cold weather. Here's what it looks like inside the hive. That is not water, that is honey. So that's interesting. There's a few bees along the ridge. And my pillow. Pillow will definitely be thicker next year and I'll probably overhang it because, slightly, because there's this gap right here, which may have contributed to it not being fully insulated and warm, which they never propolized. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around and take the frames apart and see what's going on. I don't really need my bee gloves today, but I do need some gloves because it's, what is the temperature? Did I write it down? 18 degrees, five mile an hour winds. It feels like 11 though. I'm concerned about moisture, creating mold. I'm also concerned that possibly uh, wax moss might be, might have moved in. I don't have any evidence to support that, but I thought I should just clean out the dead bees to help eliminate any moisture problems. So I'll just do a recap while I'm going through frame eight. Gosh, I gotta try to not to drop anything. You know what? Oh. Frame 8 is almost perfect view of a frame that should have been left uh, at the end. This is what they would have had for the winter. And I'm all thumbs because it's so cold out here. I just dropped the hive tool into the snow. I don't introduce any extra moisture into the hive. There's the chickens. They're happy to be out. All right, and guess what? As long as I'm here, I'm gonna take that propolis off of there. So the frames will nest a little easier.
they have propolized. Okay, frame seven. Another good frame, honey. And I might just have to brave the cold because those gloves are uh, slippery. Frame seven. It's got nectar on the bottom. Some bees. I snack. Frame six. This is frame six. I think they would have. I think there's there was probably more honey on this frame. I left it. So we have some bees stuck on the frame on that side. Was not in that cluster. Frame five. A little bit about backstory for this. Uh, colony if you haven't followed along. This was a swarm colony. It was originally installed into the other hive right next to this one. When the colony that was in this box died, I moved this one over in late October. So this one's got a little cluster up there. And one good thing about it being bright, a bright sunshiny day with a lot of snow, so I don't have any shadows. I can look at these bees. The wings look fine. I don't see any mites. Although my alcohol wash did show that this colony did have mites. Looks like they were feeding right there. It's open. And, you know, it's uncapped honey. I just think this was another cold kill. And I will have to think about what I will be doing for my hive insulation for the next winter. This hive has wool insulation. I did not uh, build this hive, so I don't know how thick that wool is, how much wool he jammed in there. He said he did, but uh, you don't know how, you won't know. He did send me a photo of the bottom when he did that. I said that looked good to me on the photo. Um, this is frame five the side that would face the entrance. So right there. Okay, 
I hope I'm getting some photos. My hands are so cold. It looks like the little thing <sighs> took. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my gloves back on. Between the hive tool being so cold. Be out here that long. So I might not do a full cleanup today because uh, it's just too cold. All right, I, and I am looking to see if there's any varroa or other little creatures that I could see. I did not report any hive beetles. Looking for the queen as well. I don't see any little rust colored specks. Yeah, these are See, they're eating up and there are bees in that cell. So what happens is there are bees on both sides of this frame, keeping each other warm. And there's nectar in there. No queen. Not that it matters the orientation I put them back in now, but if I want to go back to my previous videos. And I can correlate. And they were both, interestingly enough, on the side of the hive. That's further away from the wind. Okay. Frame four. Again, the cluster is over here on this side. And which is right next to the entrance as well. are not molding but again there's honey down there on the bottom of the box I don't know what to make of that Appropriate that I'm spending Valentine's Day with my honeys, my honeybees. Okay, so again, looking for the queen. These I'm going to dump out in the snow, though. She's not over here. I don't see any Varroa or any little 
little fun creatures that like to feed on our bees. Again, the clusters are in the same position, this same side of the frame. Let's see what I'm doing in the middle. Just getting the propolis off of the frame now so that they store a little easier. When I do get bees back, they'll just uh, propolize the frames shut again. Looking for queen and any kind of insects that are on there. Nope, I don't see any. This is frame three, and it looks like they were clustered over frames three, four, five, and six. Let's see if I can get you in there. This is frame five and a typical pattern on all of these frames. So we are over four, five, and six, and we pick up frame three. Can I do that? nothing underneath there but that I can also see that's my sweep area where I was cleaning out the bees from the hole entrance hole is right there honey in this opposite corner again but no moisture So this frame is interesting. This was frame three. We've got what it appears to be a spot right there where they ate up the side. Dug in. Probably had that cold spell and dropped. Same thing. This patch is correlating to where the patch was on the other side. I don't know if that's nectar or if that's honey in there. Gonna have to get a refractometer. Okay, this is frame two. Again, the honey consumption pattern is in the 
one side of the box. And all I'm doing is getting rid of the dead bees and scraping off this propolis. Probably should be collecting that propolis somehow, but didn't think about that until after I got out here. I still have some propolis from Dr. Leo, uh, but it's handy to have your own so you can rub it along your frames. The opposite side here is frame two. wet. That's wet. That kind of looks like pollen though. It's thicker. Okay, no queen yet. I'm happy that there are zero mice, zero wax moths, zero hive beetles, and zero, did I already say mites? Gotta look on the bright side. We were able to get lots of delicious honey. I sold, I think the count was close to 40 one pound containers and able to gift some honey. We have plenty of honey for ourselves. We have all of this gorgeous comb that the bees that we will get in a couple months. Hopefully through swarms, but unfortunately we're probably gonna have to buy some bees so we don't miss out on the beekeeping season in case we don't catch any swarms. Happy I'm not fighting aggressive bees. This swarm colony was very defensive. I am pretty sure that one of the bees from this colony decided to sing my dad, who was way over yonder on the other side of the yard, minding his own business when he got stung. Although I think he was sawing, so he was uh, creating some noise. All right, so in this one, it looks like that's pollen and nectar. As long as the temperatures stay freezing, which they probably will in my area, these frames can stay in there as long as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, because Putting them in a freezer, it's just going to take up freezer space and it's frozen out here already, as you can see with the snow in the background. Okay, I'm going to show you the entrance. So, some bees have fallen down there, but you can see my there's that area here, it's probably where I was sticking the stick in and pulling bees out. And there's some honey that is honey, not liquid. Let me just verify that this corner is honey. Yep, sticky. Oh my gosh. <gasps> just like candy. Just seriously, just like candy. The sun is starting to set. And I can feel a little more chilly because of that. So, I did not bring a bucket. 
bucket out, I thought I would see the queen tucked at top, but she's somewhere down below. So we got a white piece of paper. Y'all yell at me if you see any insects that we need to be worried about. Oh, there's a baby bit, baby bee. My feet are starting to get cold. We are losing the light. So it looks, you know, it looks dry in there, except for the honey on the box, on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna scoop through all these bees real quick and see if I can find the queen. But as I said, my feet are getting cold. My nose is running like crazy. Sorry for all the sniffles. And it's time for me to go in the house. No wonder these bees didn't make it. Poor things. Interestingly enough, one thing is interesting is they feel soft. They must not, you know, it just didn't freeze hard inside the box. So that's good. The wool helped with that. They're not frozen solid is what I'm saying. They're soft, which I find interesting. I am a science scientist at heart. I love data. <gasps> no, that's not her. Nope, that's just a longer bee. Hmm, maybe. Gosh. Hmm. What do you think? Definitely a longer, well, that one's all curled up. Yeah, that one's just flat. That way it look, that's why it looks longer. Interesting though. Maybe I squished it when I used the stick to clean it out. Okay. No queen. Here's where it's going to get messy because I want to get this honey out of here. So we'll be back in a bit. Look in the bottom left corner for the rust color dot. That's probably a mite. Just in case you want to continue watching, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Show you freezing my fingers off. <sighs> okay. Oops. Camera moved. Just picking this up. I've got some bees set aside so I can do an alcohol wash to hopefully allay any fears that they are really mites. There are no mites in here. I just can't see them. But I think my eyesight is pretty good yet. Oh, 
Oh, I can't pick up the stick. Ugh. I don't think there are any in here. So I am just going through, just like I showed you. And I'm looking for the queen. Looking for any bugs. I think there was a spider. I threw him out. Long legs. He probably crawled in after. Well, looking for a nice cozy spot and he perished too. He should have buried himself in the ground. All right. So also, I think if there are any mites, maybe they would drop off onto this whiteboard. That's another reason why I grabbed a piece of whiteboard. Queen's not in there. I've got a couple of these on the not need any more. It is perplexing to me why there was honey at the bottom. They uncap cells and then uncap them so that a little less on the bottom edge of the cell was taken off and it leaked down, but it doesn't look like it leaked down. No collapsed comb to indicate the comb has collapsed in on itself. And I only brought one piece of whiteboard, not anticipating that I'd be cleaning out honey. Happy that it's honey, not moisture though. So. There goes my nose. Gonna have to excuse me for that when it is in the frigid winter air. Nothing I can do about that. You all that live down south, you're lucky, but you have other perils to deal with besides freezing winter temperatures. I think your outside pests get bigger the further south you go. While I'm editing this video, I'm eyeballing all that roof space that I can add some insulation to prior to the next winter beekeeping season. What do you think? Add a comment and let me know what kind of insulation I should be adding. So I'm a little surprised that if this truly was a swarm, a wild swarm, that it overwintered in this area, I am surprised that it perished. However, I don't think it was a wild swarm. I think it swarmed off of one of the packages. Because there were swarm cells in that colony and that colony had greatly reduced in size. We didn't see them swarm, but something happened to make that colony not not increase in size as quickly as it should have. Okay. Into the end here. And. Okay, now my feet are really getting cold. Unfortunately, I think the gnome bee gnome hive has perished as well. I've been up here for a few days and there aren't, haven't, has not been any bees to clean from the entrance. And I'm not sure when they stopped coming out to the entrance to die, but they were fine when I left them. Oh, the second week in January. But it's been just so crazy cold up here that
I mean, and they were going good. I could hear them in the hive. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the pillow out here. Because I don't need it in the house. Let's scoop up that propolis. I should have been just scraping it off into the hive all along. Note to self to do that. So all I'm doing is stay in there just to help the hive keep its antimicrobial properties. It's cracked a little bit. Okay, but I know that's cracked. That is frame eight. So if I come back to this one. We got a big gusher, we know why. Although, maybe that can attribute to the reason why there's honey on the box. I have to rewind my video and see if this one was cracked. I'm gonna pull this up. It's cracked. Cracked right there. I don't remember seeing any other cracked ones though, like over here, in this corner. It's my sample population. I'll have to think about that. We might have to do crush and strain on this one because I see there's honey right there and there. Hmm. Remove that honey from the bottom of that frame. It was super delicious. Thank you, bees. Uh, so that I know when I come in here next time, if there's honey on there, it's leaking from that cracked frame. I probably will need to take it out before it warms up. One ladybug. All right, in conclusion, this hive for next year is gonna get a super deep uh, wool pillow. We may consider doing something to the roof to put some more insulation up there. And we may consider putting some more insulation on the outside, maybe straw bales or another windbreak. We'll just have to see what we come up with. Those are the bees that I pulled out. I think it certainly was enough to get them through the winter. In addition to all the bees I had pulled out, you know, prior to that first week in December. It's about a three pound package of bees. All right, I hope I got all that filmed with my fingers being so cold and the camera not liking that fact. Uh, hope we've got enough footage that we can determine what happened to this hive and learn from it. This is Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees. We'll buzz you later. Bye. This is an unfun outtake. It's the sampling of bees. I placed them in a jar with some alcohol, did a wash, removed the bees, and this was what was left. So close up of the mites that were left in the liquid. And then I also have a close up of the mite that was left on the lid. I don't intend to do anything with this data. I just collected it as long as the bees were dead. This is Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees. We'll buzz you later hopefully with no mites. Bye.